Baron Mordo. I trust all is in order. Our guests will be arriving soon, and I would hate to be ill-prepared. You can rest assured. I have taken all the necessary steps. Ha! <laughs> An infant could have cast better spells. The heroes have detected your magic and suspect something is afoot. They cannot possibly know the true meaning of the enchantments. I'd stake my life on it. Be careful what you wager. Loki, leave the good Baron alone. What does it matter if the heroes suspect? They will still be ensnared by the trap. For his sake, they'd best be. I'm taking a grave risk being associated with the masters of evil. Make no mistake, my friend. We all stand to lose much if we fail. Which is why I'm certain Baron Mordo will achieve success. But I would warn you, Baron. My faith only goes so far. Failure will not be tolerated, and the penalty will be most unpleasant. What of the mutant amplifier we stole from the Omega base? Does it work? Yes. Even better than I dare hope. But time is now a factor in our plans. Why is that? The mutant amplifier is quite destructive. If we do not move swiftly, the X-Man we kidnapped will die. Ooh, you surprise me, Dr. Doom. Why do you care for the health of the mutant? I don't. An early death would hinder our plans. But make no mistake, death for the X-Man is inevitable. Watch yourselves. There could be a trap around any corner. And remember, your primary mission is to retrieve Nightcrawler and Jean Grey. Once they're safe, find out whatever you can about the Masters of Evil's next move. On a side note, Senator Kelly was abducted in the middle of the night. The really odd thing is, a jack-in-the-box was left in his place. I have no idea. But keep your eyes open and see if you can find any information on the Senator's location. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man needs help. This won't take my time. Too heavy. I can't risk that. Looks like you lose.
one, all right? Go this way. Lucky I went easy on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You need a hand. Suppose Professor Xavier sent you to save me. Well, he shouldn't have bothered. I am very different. For the first time in my life, I'm free. Free to use my powers without being restrained by Xavier and all the rest of you. He told me you'd say something like that. And he also told me the truth. He said you fear me because I'm more powerful than any of you. Liar! Everyone has tried to stop me from exploring just how powerful I am. Well, I think it's about time I found out. Don't you? Fools! I'll deal with you later. <laughs> Hello, heroes. This is your old buddy, Arcade. I hope you're ready for a fun-filled day at Murder World, because I've got some killer events lined up! I know you've been running yourselves ragged trying to stop Dr. Doom, so I spoke to Baron Mordo. He was able to divert your teleportation spell to my little land of fun and assassination. See how tense you are? This little vacation is just what you need. And remember, no one ever leaves Murder World unhappy. Because no one ever leaves Murder World alive! <laughs> Let's laugh it up! <laughs> <laughs> You're only proving what I've been saying all along. You meta-humans are nothing but self-serving vigilantes. How do I know you didn't stage this whole event so that I'd be grateful to you? All right, all right. What should I do? Thank you. And I suppose I should apologize for my rude behavior. 
But you have to understand, a man in my position can't afford to trust anyone. Well, if it isn't my dear, dear friends, you're wasting your time trying to save me. You should be worried about saving yourselves. Liar! Arcade isn't controlling me. He set me free. He wants me to use my powers to their fullest. Then it looks like Arcade is going to get what he wants. What? Arcade! Help me! Jean, Jean, Jean! I had so hoped you'd kill them! Oh well, you still have your uses. Temper, temper! That's no way to enjoy your day at the park! Why don't you test your video game skills and see if you can save your friend? But watch out. There's going to be a few pitfalls along the way.
dream. I was trying to kill you at a carnival. Look around, Red. It wasn't no dream. Somehow that nutball arcade was controlling you. Are you alright now? Other than a few bumps and bruises, I'm fine. I hate to rush you, but have you got any idea where they're keeping Nightcrawler? The last time I saw Kurt, Dr. Doom had him hooked up to some kind of power amplifier. That must be that mutant amplifier they swipe from the Omega base. I do remember Arcade was there with Doom. If you can find Arcade, I'm sure he can tell you where Nightcrawler is. Sounds like a plan, Genie. You stay here and rest up. We're gonna track down Arcade and have a few laughs with him. Two golden tickets to enter the funhouse. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. By your command. Let's be friends. <laughs> Already got you beat. You should have surrendered.
a different direction. Yeah. Blazes did I get here? And speaking of that, where is here? What would a loser like Arcade want with me? Doom, huh? Any idea what he's up to? Now this is starting to sound interesting. Tell you what. I'm joining the team. If you need me, just let me know. Cause there's nothing I'd rather do than take down Victor Von Doom. <laughs> Come Come on way. Way. That's gonna be the rules. Kids, welcome to a little pinball game I call Sudden Death. It's been a smashing success with everyone who's played it. May they rest in peace. Indeed. 
Indeed I do. And of course, I'll only run a fair game. So all you have to do is get one million points to win. How hard can that be? I can see you're anxious to play. So, get ready, get set, go! Affirmative. Let's be friends! Need a hand. Be friends. Get ready to meet seven hundred pounds of maniacal muscle, the Rhino. End of the line, losers. I'm gonna flatten you into the dirt. Are you trying to make me mad? Because that's exactly what you don't want to do. That does it. When I'm done, there won't be enough of you left to fill a thimble. I care much for being in this big pinball machine, but I do like being paid to bust up you freaks. Oh, you're a real laugh riot, you know that? But we'll see who's laughing after I've shattered every bone in your body. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> uh.
Got it. I'm on it. Aching to bust somebody up. By your command. If you say so. Right. <laughs> some help.
you hit a wall! Feeling stronger! Whatever. Right. Someone's getting cranky, but that's okay. I've got a little something here that should quiet you down permanently. All right, you asked for it, but remember, this is gonna hurt you way more than it's gonna hurt me. I just knocked you down. Let me friends! Yes. I just knocked you down. your jokes, Arcade. Tell me where Nightcrawler is before I really do break your arm. Cappy, I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd resort to torture. After what you did to Jean Grey, it wouldn't be torture, it would be justice. Now talk before I do something you'll regret. Okay, okay. Enough of the rough stuff. Dr. Doom used the mutant amplifier on Nightcrawler. Why? What good would it do to supercharge Nightcrawler's powers? Think about it, Boy Scout! With enough power, Nightcrawler could open a portal to anywhere! And it just so happens Doom wanted to go to... Mephisto's realm. And 
soon as all you ask. No! I don't know why they went there! Then we're done here. Let's get back to headquarters, team. We've got a rescue to prepare for. That was a nice job in Murder World. You turned a potential disaster into a successful mission. That dark magic Clea had sensed was Mordo's spell waiting to divert the orb of teleportation. But Wong's corrected the problem. It won't happen again. Yes. Xavier's discovered that Arcade was telling the truth. Doom used the mutant amplifier on Nightcrawler to open a portal to Mephisto's realm. It's a dimension of fire and brimstone. And it's where you're headed next. For more information, talk to Professor Xavier, or, if you're ready to go now, use the Orb of Teleportation. <laughs>